Hi everyone, welcome to the welcome to this video. It's a special video because we will have two guitars made by Paul Hildebrand, a guitar luthier from Germany. Paul, welcome well, to Zikas. Well, thanks, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And I uh, have played your guitar for the first time uh, a few months ago. And uh, I didn't know anything about, about Paul Hildebrand. And I saw the guitar, I played the guitar and I thought, okay, it's probably a guitar luthier who is building since 30 years guitars because the Thank guitar you. looked very, very, really great craftsmanship and also the sound was great. And then at some point I saw Paul Hildebrand and oh, it's, he's at my age, probably younger than me. <laughs> You're doing a great job. And so you studied uh, guitar making in the guitar making university in, in Magdeburg. Mar Mar yeah. So I think this is a place where a lot of good guitar luthiers from Germany has the Yeah, a lot, a lot of people yeah, come from there, learned at that school and yeah, then went out into the world. Yeah, yeah. It became successful. So the two guitars that he brought us today, first of all, they will be available very soon. We will keep you updated. You can uh, see the guitars on the website. The special thing about these two guitars is maybe you can explain what was the idea yeah. of building these two guitars? So, uh, my idea with these guitars uh, was to try and do an experiment. Mm -hmm. So, traditionally, well, usually most of the time, the top of the guitar is thinned a little around the edges and left a bit thicker in the middle. Mm -hmm. But there's also some instruments where it's done the opposite way around, where the middle, uh, around the bridge area, is thinner and the edges are thicker. But I had a hard time finding some definite, definite sources that explain why. why? So, okay. what's the difference? Why is the thin there and thicker there? Mm -hmm. What really does it do? So, I figured, yeah, just let's just try it out, let's do try. an experiment and yeah. find out what the difference in sound is. And so, I made these two guitars where like all of the wood is really identical. Mm -hmm. So, I, I made sure that all the pieces are from the same tree. So the tops are from the same tree, the sides are from the same tree, the necks are from the same tree. Mm -hmm. uh, all really, all the pieces. So it's easier to compare, of course. Yeah, if so to, everything is from the same. Yeah. So yeah. to make sure there's no, oh, no, we can't be completely sure of that, but yeah. very little variation in the yeah. material. And then the construction is also completely identical. Mm, it's a, um, a solid spruce top with a seven fan bracing. Mm -hmm. and a few extra transversal bars to yeah. even out the, the, the different stiffnesses so that both guitars also function properly mm -hmm. because one is kind of thin in the middle actually okay and yeah then there's uh, laminated sides mm -hmm. also to, to add a bit of projection uh, projection as well mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to increase the functionality the, of the sound radiation i can see the same Monster here, also in the rosette. Yeah, yeah. So, I like it when you yeah. pick up up, so there's a, like a correlation between the two. It it works in harmony. I think it's yeah, yeah. It adds to the whole. It, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It it matches very well. It, it it gives the guitar a very artistic look. Yeah. And the fingerboard is slightly elevated, which makes the guitar much more easier to play in this. Do you think it has also a sound, sound-wise, some mm, influence on yeah, the guitar? Yeah, it might. There's different opinions about mm -hmm. it. I think it does add a bit because mm -hmm. it really stiffens up the upper bout. Yeah. So in theory, that might reduce damping there, so there's the sound can travel more freely to the yeah, to the okay. rest of the part mm -hmm. and doesn't kind of diffuse there, and so yeah, it might get a little bit of more more of sustain. Mm -hmm. Might be a bit clearer. Probably it depends to the whole construction of yeah, the guitar, that's the whole idea how I want to build the guitar. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, I agree. In the most of the cases, I agree. The, I have the feeling the guitar is resonating better, sustained, a bit more free. Yeah. 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 It's like one of these little little pieces where you can change influences out a little bit, and yeah. then if you mm -hmm. add all of them together, you get the result. Yeah. Cool. 
very nice guitar, beautiful spruce, and it was Indian rose. Yes, Indian right? rose. Yeah. That's also I'm I'm really happy about this quality. This is this is some really special quality. It looks so good. There was yeah, yeah. I was wow. really lucky to to find these two mm. because it's it's in really high quality, mm. and I, I could find two of them. That was yeah. I was really happy about yeah. that. It was a great coincidence yeah. that it was possible. So this was the guitar number two and the other one, guitar number one. First of all, I'm curious if you are hearing some differences. I will play later on more on the on two guitars. It's actually, it's very, it's, it's similar. It's very similar for me. So what yeah. do you think? What, what is your... Yeah, I also think thing? it's, especially at first, at first really hard to, to tell them apart. Yeah, yeah. I think when you spend uh, some time playing both of them and really trying and trying back and forth, mm -hmm. I feel there's there are some differences. Did you do also some acoustic measurements? Yeah. And did you found some differences? Yeah, that was also pretty interesting. Yeah. So I compared the, the vibrational behavior of the guitars and I measured the frequency response mm -hmm. and the decay times and some things like this. And I was hoping that there would be some some huge differences. Yeah, some huge differences, or even like anything clear where you can say, okay, you got this resonance peak, which says this guitar has more bass, or something yeah. like this, mm -hmm. like anything. But the results are in amazingly similar. So okay. there, of course, there's small differences, but mm -hmm. yeah, nothing really clear where you can pinpoint really differences. Mm -hmm. So it was, it wasn't really possible to measure any differences. Mm -hmm. But still, there's like all the people that have tried these guitars so far, they all reported like some differences and they all mm -hmm. reported them similarly. Yeah. And they found, yeah, they perceived them like similar the differences. Yeah. Yeah. Really interesting. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But it's, it's, it's difficult to hear a straight difference um, when you are playing it for the first time. Yeah. I think if it's your guitar and you play long time, a few weeks on it, more pieces, more complicated pieces, then you will uh, hear a difference. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. that's like that. You, you need some time. Yeah. That's interesting. So I did an, an experiment, a test, mm. where I showed both of these guitars to a group of professional guitarists and they didn't know them at all before. Okay. And yeah, I just handed them and told them play the same, the same piece mm -hmm. on both and then so they, they, and then they played two guitars twice, but mm. didn't know which, and they had to decide which they played twice. So they really only had to tell them apart, okay. and they had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> it was, like, they just they couldn't tell them apart. Yeah. But then afterwards, when they had the chance to play them freely, back and forth, and mm -hmm. all of that, 
they did hear some differences and okay. they also kind of found the same differences. Yeah, the same differences. Yeah. Okay, so different people, the same differences. Yeah. Yeah. But a part of that, the guitar, the general sound of the guitar, or both guitars, because if I tell about the sound of this guitar, it's also for the other guitar because they are so similar. First of all, uh, it's a traditional bit guitar, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not a double top or lettuce brace. It's not a double top or lettuce so. brace, but it's not not really completely that traditional. Tra yeah. It's it has some some modern elements like the fingerboard, obviously the yeah. raised one or the the laminated sides, mm -hmm. and also the the way the the top is anchor to the, the sides, it's mm. really stiffly, okay. so the top can resonate more freely and doesn't yeah. lose as much energy to the sides. So, yeah, there's some, some modern parts to it as well. Yeah, actually what I wanted to uh, point on is that the tone is actually traditional. It has a sweet, very sweet traditional tone. But the power of the guitar is modern. Because this is a loud guitar. The guitar, the sound is going very forward, and um, I can also feel the whole guitar is resonating. You know, it's uh, and also very well balanced. It's from basses. From the trebles to the basses, very even. You don't hear a big difference suddenly if you are... Okay, now I played bad. <laughs> Again. Also in the loudness, they have nearly the same... Of course, the basses are always a bit louder. But overall, the balance, the power, and also the color of the guitar is really good did a really great job. Congrats, man. Thanks. This is great. Maybe I will play a bit longer piece on both yes. of these guitars and then we can finish the experiment. <laughs> It's a joy to play on both guitars. I won't tell you which guitar I like more. <laughs> they have... Um, it's actually so, so similar. Maybe one guitar has for me a bit more... Uh, I don't know, maybe just slightly more overtones, but the other guitar has a bit faster response. So it's a matter of what, what do you want, what you prefer. So every guitar has a slightly different quality, but actually it's nearly the same. So, but I mean, it's crazy how similar these this both guitars still sound, despite of different, yeah. not totally different construction, but uh, the, yeah, very different. Despite of changes. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a rather big change. Yeah, actually, I yes. It's a, um, yes. But all the other parts are identical. So yeah. that, that I think it shows how much all of the parts of the guitar are important. Yeah, exactly. Just the top, yeah. So. so maybe next time you change another thing. You yeah. Maybe, uh, I don't know, something in the neck. 
yeah, the are. other one without with a different wood. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot but, of places. Yeah, but I think you're on a very good way because you have also your. So do you have a, a sa- sound in your mind that you want to achieve? Yeah. Be- yeah. I mean, yeah. So, um, but and. Is it a more modern sound or do you like more, what, what is your taste? So, so, what, so I think it's a somewhat modern uh, idea of sound that I, I have, because uh, I, I like it, the guitar is yeah, very open and yeah. carries well and mm-hmm. it's a lot of sustain and also I'm a big fan of clarity and balance as well. Yeah. But I think it's also important that that you don't lose the, the colors of the traditional mm-hmm. instrument. Yeah. Because I feel with double tops, for example, often it's it's amazing how loud they are and yeah. how they it's very just impressive. go forward. Yeah. And, but mm-hmm. uh, f- I haven't heard many double tops, for example, that I, that for me are really like, oh my god, this this is it. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So um, that's kind of a, a balance between that, I think. Yeah, some yeah, well. exactly. I mean, with double top guitars, yeah, sometimes you miss some colors. You know, it it can get boring if you are playing for a long time on a um, on a double top guitar but they have you know, of course different qualities yeah, loud obviously. straight away and uh, it depends to what you prefer but yeah also the tone separation the clarity of this guitar is very good <laughs> I love both guitars. Great job. Congrats again. I'm very curious what the, uh, our audience will say about the sound of the guitars, if they um, hear a difference. So again, thanks for being here. It was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, you're very welcome. And as I said, the guitars will be available at Zika's guitars very soon. Um, they will keep you updated and uh, Yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye.